So what is what is the glory of this van? What what are your what are our intentions? Of this? I don't know. They keep changing every day. Quote for twenty thousand dollars for a paint job. Uh, obviously that was out the window. Uh, Ten thousand dollars for a bumper, roof rack, and a ladder. That was out the window. Uh, this at the end of the day, this is a twenty eleven Chevy Express with seventy thousand miles on it. Um, so we just got a local here in Warner Robins. Uh, this guy Chip, he's gonna wrap it for us uh, at a significantly reduced price from twenty thousand um, dollars. So there'll be more to come on that. Um, and then we forwent the roof rack for now. Probably just gonna do some Amazon parts uh, because, um, again, at the end of the day, like I tell everybody, we're gonna be using this van and it's not a wall crawler. Uh, it's not gonna win trophies. It's not gonna be posted in magazines. So with that said, probably gonna be a lot of Amazon parts, a lot of uh, spray cans. Functionality over- Functionality. Over- looks yeah so the next like so, six months what are we doing uh the next six months will be uh all the wiring the hitch the swivel seat uh, oh yeah a nice swivel seat so the passenger seat can swivel back to the children again functionality i'm like i'm gonna love that the tire tire carrier oh yeah get the tire out of that trunk yeah. and then we'll just start picking away at small stuff I am uh, pretty sure that every project on this van is going to be two steps back and a half a step forward. What am I putting in? Uh, this is a flat four from E-Trailer and instead of that janky wiring that cuts into the middle of your um, cuts into the middle of your wiring, this actually just connects back and it uh, it just connects in between your brake light connectors, which are right here. I don't know, let's just take this plug out, plug in the new one, and uh, it just jumps it. So there's no cutting wires or anything. I at least want to get this controller mounted um, so that I can just come back and wire it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, unfortunately, when Adam welded in the leaf spring mounts in the rear, uh, surprise, surprise, there was an existing hitch on this. Uh, he had cut the hitch out so that he could move the mounts back. Uh, and unfortunately, in doing so, covered over the mounting holes for the hitch. So I am modifying the brand new hitch that we just bought to fit around the shackles. Uh, again, this is not a how to do, this is a how we do. Held it right there, right there, and now it's gonna weld it on. Not, not the prettiest welds. <laughs> so it's what you get for doing it in my driveway. Day, another project. Project today is to take the base off of this chair and then uh, put the swivel seat on. So mine the mess in the garage. It's uh, what happens when you got multiple projects going on at once. Uh, so this was from a company out of Portland, bolts to the existing uh, setup, and then the seat bolts to this. So I'm just gonna take it out, and swap it off. about it, but 
but uh, it'll work for now. So, we'll see. Ta-da!